Okay, it is seven o'clock on a Saturday night, and that means it is Aussie Mail Go Live or our Saturday Nighters Club. So, welcome everyone, welcome. I hope um, everyone can see me out there. Um, please give me a little nod so that I um, know that you're watching me. Let me just click in here so that I can see, make sure that we've got comments and everything coming up. I'm uh, going it solo tonight. Chris is out um, picking up one of the, the young'uns from an activity that's going later than we normally do. So I'm here by myself tonight. So hopefully everything goes according to plan. Fantastic. All right. So I can see who we got. Ray and Diane, Bonnie, Kim, hey. Lisa, Rebecca, Linda, Shirley, hello Jade and Ashley, Leanne, how are you going? All right, fantastic. Hey Linda and Susie, howdy. Silva, good to see you, love. Hey Mike, Dawn, party's all here. Fantastic. All right, so like I said, I'm uh, no, I'm without Chris tonight and uh, so I'm sorry if I miss any questions or anything he normally keeps me on the straight and narrow I will do my best to uh, make sure I answer any questions or any comments or anything so hi to Tracy and Suzanne who have just popped in it's like the mirrors from play school Mr Doobie all right you lost me Ray <laughs> Not sure what you're referring to there. Okay, hey Marion, glad you made it, love. All right, fantastic. Well, we might um, get a wiggle on then and get this started. And um, I'll just switch this over to the other view and we'll make a start. Okay, so as you know, we're doing Arcadian tonight, which is a Callisto variant. Okay, Susie's not getting any sound. Is everybody else getting sound? Can I just, can someone check that for me? Because I did have problems with my webcam earlier and I want to make sure you guys have got sound coming through. Ray, you've got it? Fantastic. Yep, all right, great. Sorry, Susie, must be something your end. Everyone else has got some sound. Fantastic. All right, guys. Cheers. Thanks for that. All right. So we'll keep going. So the Arcadian chain is a Callisto variant. Um, basically, the base weave is Callisto and we place in some orbiting rings. So what we'll do is um, we'll start and show Callisto first for those that didn't get to see um, our live session of that. And then we'll move on to the, the, the bit that makes it Arcadian. I'll just move. So this one here, I've only got the two sizes done up for you. Um, 14 gauge uses the 9.5 BA, which is the big silver rings. Uh, 16 gauge, 6.25, which is the smaller rings in the middle. And then, of course, the 14 gauge 3.8 is our aluminium colour. And the 16 gauge, which is really quite a lovely piece, uses 7 mils on the outside, uh, 4.75 as the chain down the middle, and 9.30 seconds is the uh, aluminium, the anodized aluminium color. The um, blue and green is sky blue and lime, which is a new color that we've just put up. And this one, of course, is uh, violet and dark rose. Okay, so we'll make a start. And as I said, we start with Arcadian first. We do the complete Arcadian chain and then we add the um, orbiting or the rhinode rings afterwards. So for those that don't remember how to do Callisto or haven't seen it, we start with a single chain, uh, the length of your bracelet. Okay, fantastic. So got a single chain made up and what we're going to do is I'm going to take 
our big three, um, sorry, nine, nine mils. And we're going to go through the first and second ring so that it orbits, sorry, through the first and third ring so that it orbits the second ring, goes around the second ring. And we're going to close that up. Okay, and then to place our second one, we're going to go through the third ring, around the fourth ring, and through the fifth ring. Okay, and we just continue like down that, like that for the length of your chain making sure we go through previous ring, around the next new ring, and through the following. Uh, no, not quite the same as the double vision. Okay, and I'll pop one more in, oops, one too far. Oh, I'll get it right eventually, I'm probably all out of sorts, not having my uh, sidekick. All right. Okay, so this is what we've got so far with a large ring orbiting every other small ring. Okay. No, uh, these aren't Zurons, they're Lindstrom's. Ace. Um, I've been using them for a while, but I, I can't can't remember when I started using them. But these are the new the yeah, new Lindstroms. They look a lot like the um, the Zurons, but they've got a, a much um, more serious jaw. So very good for the fourteen gauge, which is what I'm um, doing most of my demonstrations in. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take another opened um, nine mil ring or color one ring in this case and we're going to go through up under and through the middle of that small ring we're going to bring it around wait a minute let me get this right I'm going to go through the top. Sorry, I um, don't think it makes much difference, but I'm, I'm mixing myself up with my instructions here. So we go through the middle ring, all the way around, and through the middle ring in the next lot. And I'm going to close that up. And this is what our work should look like. I'll show you that again with the next ring. We go up through the middle. Chris has just turned up if everyone's wondering what that noise is. Up through the middle of um, the ring just there, our small ring in the chain, bringing it all the way, turning it around and coming down underneath and through the middle of the small ring in the next, next to it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going through the middle of the rings that have been orbited. That's right, Ashley. I think I can get that there close enough for you. 
Okay. So going through that same middle ring as before and coming over the top of the big run down underneath through the little one so that we sit out on the top of it. Okay, so it's all a bit loosey goosey at the moment. And we do that all the way down. The Zorons are a really good um, plier mic, especially uh, for the cost of them. It's um, certainly one that I would recommend for everyone to, to purchase. All right, so we do that all the way down the length of our chain. And then we flip it over. And we do the same on the other side. So where you've seen, you can see here, this is the ring that we've just placed, this one here in behind. So we're going to do the same on this side so that we're creating um, the other big rings are, are being sandwiched in between. So we go up through the middle of the small ring, bringing it all the way around so that it goes through the middle next of the small ring and the unit next to it. Because we've already got one side with the rings on it, um, the little rings are already in place and it's very easy to just slip them in where they're supposed to go. So this is the ring that we've just added here and you can see the one from the previous right behind it. Okay. All right, show you that once more. So we go to the next chain, the next ring in the chain, which is right there. We go straight through that ring, bringing our weave around, going through the next ring in the middle of the next unit and closing it up. <laughs> Did you bring a note? <laughs> Fantastic. All right, and one more time up through the middle of the small ring, just twisting your piece of work around and going down through the small ring in the next unit. Child taxi, yep, with four kids, that's our chief other job at the moment. Okay. All right, so that is basically Callisto weave for those that haven't seen Callisto before. And that's the basis of the Arcadian chain. So I know I, I did blow through that a little quickly. Um, hopefully everybody uh, could understand. If not, Callisto is, I think, was our third week. So you can go back and see the video. I've given a much more detailed explanation on how to do Callisto um, in that video. So if I've gone through this a little bit too fast for you, go back and visit the third video that we did, or the third week, and... Um, you'll be able to, to do that there. All right, so um, tonight, before I move on to the next step, we're going to talk about um, our, let me just swap this because I feel weird with you looking at that. Okay, so as I said, we're not giving our PDFs away as we normally would, but we will be giving away a couple of prizes. Um, so we've dipped into our prize barrels or our bits and bobs barrels and we found some of these which is Tronix pliers. Now we purchased some of these oh, quite some time ago in um, to try them and have a look and see whether we were going to bring them in. Um, we since decided not to bring them in but I do have all these pairs of pliers lying around so our first prize tonight is going to be a pair of the short handle Tronix pliers. So this one is the chain nose and 
this one. See, they're all in their lovely box and everything. Never been used because I don't use the small small handed pliers. And a pair of bed knives. Okay, so this is our first, this will be our first prize. Now the way we're going to handle this tonight because uh, I didn't think Chris would be back this early so I was going to be doing this myself so we were going to do it a little bit differently tonight so we're not set up at the moment. But we were going to get you to uh, write in the comments and we would uh, put everybody into a spreadsheet and we will randomly draw numbers and we'll let you guys know. So from now on, hopefully, we'll be able to do it live. But uh, right now, because we, as I said, I didn't expect Chris to be here and I wouldn't be able to do it by myself, we aren't set up for it live tonight. So if you're interested in the chance of winning both of these pliers, as I said, these are the small handled ones. They're not the long handled ones, but you can sort of see what they look like in my hand. This will be our, what we're considering our first prize. Now these um, are quite um, pricey. To <laughs> so this is a good prize. So, you know, don't ever think you've got uh, too many pliers if, and, and not to sign up for these. These are um, interesting pliers. We didn't take them on because they were so expensive and we've already got the Lindstrom's. So we've got those. We've also got a $20 gift voucher with Aussie Mail up for grabs. That'll be prize number two. And we may throw a couple of PDFs or something around as well. Um, but if you want to go into the draw for either the plugs, a chance to win either pliers or a $20 gift voucher with us, just in the comment section while we're live tonight, guys, in pop in I oh know but some people think you can have too many pliers pop in what is your favorite video that we've done since we've started doing the live streams so if you want to um, put that in which one was your favorite video of our live streams in the comments we will put you into a spreadsheet um, assign you a number and randomly draw the number and we'll let you guys know uh, a little bit later so first prize, what is considered first prize is the pair of the Tronixes, the small handle, there's a chain nose and a bent nose. There's also a $20 gift voucher with us up for grabs and uh, we'll probably throw in a few PDFs as well to, do it to a couple of people. Okay, so just pop it, uh, as I said, the comment which was your favourite week and we'll get on to that tonight. So hopefully uh, we'll be a little bit more organised with how we're going to do the draws for prizes. But um, this is the way we're running with it tonight. Okay, so if you guys do that, and I will swap the camera over, and we'll continue with the weave. And now that Chris is here, he can keep an eye on it for me. <laughs> well, I'm doing that now. <laughs> All right. I don't feel so nervous now. I was incredibly nervous here by myself. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So we've got our Callisto as our base, and now basically... To change it into Arcadian, we need to put the orbiting rings in or the rhinode rings in, whichever terminology you want to use. Um, look, it's, I haven't found a pretty way of doing this, and um, it can drive me a little insane, but uh, we'll do our best and see how we go. All right, so what you want to do is we want to position our large rings, those ones that we just put in, on each side, like we're doing double vision um, or rhino snorting drain or any of those type weaves. So we want to push the front one up and the back one down, making sure that your little ring that's in the middle is pointing the same direction as the top ring. Okay, so now you can see the space that we've created. Let me find, I can't find my all, it's warped again. Okay, so we want to put our colour ring through these two spaces here so that we orbit this section in here. As I said, I don't have a pretty way of doing it because it's already a full chain, it is a bit tricky. This size it's quite okay, it's not too tight, but um, the 16 gauge version left me banging my head basically. So um, you just put it through and so that it goes around the middle of your Callisto chain and close it up. Now you just want to make sure that it goes all the way around the chain. Sometimes 
it's very easy for it to pop up through this ring here on the back. You want it to encircle the chain completely, not go through that ring on the back at all. Okay, and we do that again. So that one was easy. Let's see if I can continue doing it. So go down through this one, and bring it around. Ooh, nope. I'm going to force it through that way. Do it whatever way you <laughs> need to do it. As I said, it's not pretty, but if you can get it in there, it's fine. We need to have three orbiting rings. Okay, so we've got two in there. Um, we pop one more in. I said I don't I wish I had a, a really tricky technique to tell you but it's just a matter of doing it until it gets in there this third one's not going to do it for me all right take that out it's not behaving Sometimes it helps to open the ring up wide. Sometimes it helps to not open the ring up wide. Um, it really does drive me insane. So the weave itself is not difficult. I've pegged it as an intermediate just because of this step. This step is tricky. Well, I'm finding it tricky. As you can see, I'm really struggling to get this third one in. And yet when I did it up the other day, I didn't have a problem with it. There we go. Look at that. Woot. Done it. <sighs> all right. I'm all hot and flustered now, but there we go. It's in. Voila. There we go. That's what it looks like. And we just do that down every pair of uh, rings that we've got. In the chain. So if you want to see me, it'll be easy to go through the middle of the two you have already positioned. That way you have a guide. Not really because you've got the ring, I mean the ring is curved, so when you put it through the middle of the two you run the risk of um, grabbing, going through the middle of one of those two. But I mean, if you can get it to work, brilliant. As I said, whatever it takes to get it to work. <laughs> ah. Well, it was, it's quite funny actually because the last time I did this, I actually was trying to use rings that um, I thought were the right size. And I got one in and it was beautiful. And then I could not, for the life of me, get the second one in. And I couldn't work out why. And then I swore quite a lot. But it ended up being it was the wrong size ring. So lesson learnt, don't use the wrong size rings. All right. But you can see I can get the first two in, not a problem whatsoever. But this third one, there we go, tends to be a little trickier. With the third one, I think if you have it opened up too far, it makes it a little bit harder. So the trick is opening up far enough to get it around, but not so far that it wants to, to dive into the sides of the weaves. Okay. So that's basically it. That is Arcadian Chain. So it's Callisto with some rhinode rings or orbiting rings. Okay. All right, so I'm assuming everybody's got that okay. It's no, no difficulty with understanding the basics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wish that was. I wish that was it. <sighs> All right, I'm not going to do any more because you know. <clears throat> okay.
that's it. <laughs> All right. So are we cool? Did I, I know I rushed through the Callisto bit because I didn't want to spend too much of the evening on that because we've already covered it. Um, but hopefully put the third one on first. Brilliant, Linda. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> okay so I said look it, the concept is not difficult um, but the actual doing it um, can get a little frustrating to say the least um, if you like to drink perhaps a glass of whatever it is you like to drink beside you might actually help but uh, yeah so it's it's look it's a beautiful weave it really is I love the 16 gauge the 14 gauge is a little chunky for my for my likings the 16 gauge is lovely I didn't go down to an 18 gauge because I just don't have any colored rings that would have worked um, that one might take a little bit more playing and seeing if I can get some of the rings to to fit but right now I don't have a ring that works a colored ring that works in the 18 gauge okay so uh, that's that I think hopefully <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, look, Jenny, if I ever get the time to actually create a, a piece with Revolis, I will absolutely get it up as a tutorial. Um, right now, though, I am um, busy trying to come up with a new weave for you guys every week, something a little tricky but not too tricky. Um, but, yes, but there's a lot of tutorials out there already with the Revolis. Um, if you pop onto Etsy and places like that, you'll be able to find a lot of tutorials that use them. Okay, so hopefully uh, everyone's okay with that and it went well. I'm really sorry about the shaky beginning. Like I said, I was a bit lost without my sidekick. Felt a bit weird. Go back and watch it, Dad. <laughs> no, don't. It's just awkward. It's just really awkward. Don't go back and watch it. It didn't help that I couldn't get my webcam to start either, uh, to start with. So that was, you know, I was. it was all a bit of a mess. We will put your names into the database. Thank you for those that answered. And uh, we will uh, do the draw and let you know the winners of our fabulous uh, pliers and gift certificate. Uh, like I said, next week we'll try um, and come up with a better way of doing our, our giveaways, but um, this is the, the best we thought we could do with tonight. Okay, uh, so next week is a new two, a new weave. So Wednesday we will put up the event on Facebook to let you know what that is, what ring sizes you need or all that. For the guys that are part of the Chainmail Club, you'll get your... Um, tutorial sent out to you Wednesday or Thursday. For those that are uh, part of the PDF uh, subscription, and thank you very much to those that signed up to that this week, um, you will have, sorry we were a bit late this week getting it out, we're still not in the swing of it, uh, we will have that out to you Friday night. So everybody should have their tutorials by Friday night. If you haven't received them and you're part of the subscription group, let us know. Um, if you want to become part of the subscription groups, check out our page. Um, so Chris has put up the link for you. It's a Saturday Night Mail Club, two subscription levels. You can get the kits and the PDFs, or you can choose just the PDF subscription. The PDF subscription is a weekly one, and you'll be debited weekly for that. The uh, kits one is a monthly one, so we do have a sign-up date for the kits one. And... So you've already missed, you will have missed the August one, but to sign up for September, if you sign up by Sunday the 20th, we send the kits out the following Monday and Tuesday. So hopefully, um, I have no idea where I was going with that. Started reading uh, comments and completely lost train of thought. But anyway, that's our two subscriptions there at the moment. Uh, if you're interested, sign up for those. Ashley, it's... Um, yeah, it's a weekly PDF sub subscription. Basically, you get the tutorial that we'll be showing um, on the Friday. If you sign up by Thursday of that week, basically, you'll get a 20% discount. So it's only going to cost you $4.80 per week instead of 6 bucks to buy the tutorial. And uh, we send that out to you um, each week that you've signed up for. Can't help you with losing your rings, Julie Love. You're going to have to look after them. <laughs> Very safe. <laughs> this has happened before, Julie. We're going to have to have words, love. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Jenny, I'm really pleased that you love getting the package. Uh, we love putting them together and uh, sending them out to you guys. And uh, those, yeah. So that's it, I think. I don't think anyone else has got any more questions or have I missed something? Mr. Sidekick? No. I Not I covered everything. Brilliant. All right. Okay, guys, well, thank you very much for joining us again tonight. Um, we really do love seeing you all come and, and spending some time with us. Keep an eye out next Wednesday for the new weave, and uh, we will catch up with you then. All right, thank you very much for coming, and um, 